here at Inhale Miami. Look at all this art. Yes. It's so beautiful. creative. I really love, I don't know who did this piece. If it it's was like right there behind. That came together. Ernesto. Maranje. Maranje. Yes. And do you know when this was actually painted or when did Inhale come to be? Like what year was it? Well, for my understanding, it's like almost three years, mm -hmm. about to be four. But this was here before I started coming. So this has been a while already. It's a beautiful piece. Yes. Thank you for being here with us, guys. We're here on Lotus Arising with Daniela Salazar. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. This is my first time. So I'm a little excited. So bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. And I might as well start off with some tea. So yes. cheers to um, new energies, new awakenings, new atmospheres. Cheers to Ricky, and thank you for allowing us to be here at Inhale Miami. Yes, thank you so much. Mm, this one's a raspberry chai. Oh, that smells so good. And it just kind of like balances out our frequencies and allows us to be calm in a natural state of just pure energy. We're here now in this moment, in this space, and no reason for us to not be natural yes so when did you create natural and organic uh, home and beauty products with earthy herbs yes earthy herbs like when did I start doing this or when did I start creating them both yeah both. I'd like to know that. well <laughs> it's always like a passion of mine since I was little you know grandmas mothers when you live in a country that is low income and you don't have the accessibility to go to a doctor, to go to a hospital. You had to be resourceful with what you have. Exactly. So my dad has been always a big believer of nature, remedies, and curing yourself with what we got at home, and my mom also. So I think from early ages, I started seeing that, and pretty much in my house, when I get sick, I was always a sick one. Wow. So my mom always have Different herbal remedies to yes. help. And I grew up with that mentality, like I always will access to uh, re um, herbal remedies to heal myself in any way possible. I try to stay away on medications, pills, it's so crazy how you see homes in their counters with countless of bottles of pills for a disease that will give you side effects and then you have to get a another medication that will subside really that side of faith and you will never get healed. Yeah. So I think from early age at my home in my country and in my country we are people that always look and search for uh, herbal remedies and or medicine. What made you decide to get into making your own organic products within that, within the knowledge that you gained growing up? Well, six years ago I started Probably not six years because now I'm in my second year of my studies. So probably eight years ago, I started doing my own research. Like you would say, it can be like a passionate hobby that I would like to do and research all like every different herb mm -hmm. alphabetically. And I will start doing just researching for that, and I will keep it in my like my journal so for like my which prayer. herb helps with healing what organs or what diseases or what oh it's it's or it's a broad it's a very it's complex it's endless everything will help you for everything pretty much depending how you use it depending the extraction you do if you're drinking it in a tea form if you're drinking it in a tincture if you it's do different. it and it's a poultice you get a different result for you, whichever way yes. you're drinking it. and also every method that you use uh, access a uh, different, how you would say, um, let me think. It's like drinking tea will get more faster to your organs because it's in a liquid matter. Mm -hmm. When you drink pills, it will take a little bit more little to bit dissolve longer. the pills. Unless you had it maybe the powder in a, the powder form combined with tea exactly. or something like that. Exactly, yes. But, um, would you say mint is good for digestion? Yes. I know when mint. I had a mint plant, I was eating the leaves off of the plant and it was really healthy. And stomach aches. If you have stomach aches, yeah. uh, either mint, peppermint. Every plant that is in the mint family will suit your stomach. Mm -hmm. yes. I love mint. Ginger is also another type of plant that will help you if you have vomiting, if you have and like... Turmeric, I know, is like an ant. Is that like an anti-cancer plant, kind of? You can... I mean... It, 
we as herbalists or people that is learning an herbalist, you wouldn't say or you wouldn't uh, recommend or um, acknowledge an herb as a healing or like um, something that is gonna cure certain treatment. No, no. but it heals. It will it aid you yeah. in the matter that you have. Of course. Turmeric is mostly an anti-inflammatory herb, so it will. Basically, so it's a it's a broad spectrum on your body that this herb is actually going to be very successful in every way. It depends. Eating it every day. Mm -hmm. I prefer to have my intake of turmeric as a root so instead like of pounder. Yes. So fresh root soups is amazing. The color that it gives to every soup so is you just amazing. Just kind of cut it up and just put it in the soup. Just cut it up. I would never peel any type of vegetable or any any fruit. Why not peel it? Because everything is on the skin. The fiber, let, let's say, a fruit that you eat, you're taking the fiber away when you peel it, right? Yeah. So but fiber is good peel. because it's gonna help you digest and it's gonna help you release and so get away. A lot of people are throwing away the peel, not realizing there's major benefits yes. to these. So I know as far as facial and skin, which I do use one of your products for uh, my face, and I love it. Absolutely amazing Thank product. You. I believe it's made with uh, bee, bur, uh, bees wax. Or? Yes, bee wax. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And Incredible. besides the beet wax, I also like to combine the actual raw wild flower honey in it. And that is like a power boost to any product, even just as it is every day. A spoon a day of honey. Like for me, drinking tea, I'm not a sugar person. Everything I do is with honey. Wow. And honey is, is, is sprays as. Would you say this is almost like an anti-aging formula that you've created because I feel like it brings a lot of radiance to our skin and it makes well, us, I mean, actually, your skin looks incredible. My skin looks better than it ever has and it's because... No, of believe me, my products. skin, I had problems with my skin since I was very little. And your skin looks perfect to me right and now. now. I'm not just saying that, guys, but take a good look. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but you know also what it helps is your diet. If you incorporate more fresh fruits, fresh yeah. vegetables, more clean uh, proteins into it, everything is gonna change. No, if you if you're a person, oh, I'm just gonna be using this because it's gonna <laughs> change my skin. But your diet is terrible. You yeah, will never notice the difference. Yeah. You will never notice. Mm -hmm. But the cream that you're using, why did I start doing that cream? Because. I was having a problem every time I would go to the, um, to the beach mm -hmm. to get tan. I would get something that is called uh, atopic derma dermatitis. Oh. So it's something that it will get around your, your lips. Is it from the sun? Or? I was thinking it was from the sun because it would only happen every time that I would go to the beach. So I was like, maybe my skin is getting a reaction to too much sun. Mm -hmm. And I would get like a burn sensation. The skin would kind of like start flaking, like if it's dry, dry, dry. Yeah. Then I thought it was my sunblock, but what happens? Then I realized sunblocks are chemicals, and the chemical were having a, rea well, a reaction with the heat and the sun every time I would go to the beach, because it would only happen every time I would go to the beach. So then you realize that. So then I realized that, okay, no more chemical sunblocks, let's try a more natural way to approach it. And then I discovered this recipe for this ointment that it helped me a lot. Wow. And then I started doing my own experiment, going to the beach, applying my cream, and then putting just the natural uh, sunblock. And that did it. That and since incredible. that day, this is actually my everyday moisturizer for the last two years and a half. Guys, let's show everybody. <laughs> Okay. Yes, <laughs> I, I mean, I love this product. Products so, based okay. on like uh, bee wax are very, is they gonna be, be very oily mm -hmm. and they will take a little bit to absorb. Yeah, so for sometimes for people, what I do, I would recommend this first to be used at nighttime. 
It's great for the night time. Because during the night time when it's you're absorbing. resting, your skin relaxes, the, the muscles relax, mm -hmm. and the absor absorption is going to be even better, faster, yeah. and like it will work in a different way of when course. your body is totally relaxed. Mm -hmm. But for some people, they like to use it during the daytime. But during the daytime, me, I use it during the daytime. Well, then you have to be careful because the sun, because it might, you might be attracted. No, to not really, not really. Because There's no coconut oil in there. No, no okay. coconut oil, no. But every day that I go to work, I run my bike under the sun. So I for experience not that me having a very sensitive skin, it having you haven't me. had any effects with the sun. Well, so that's incredible yeah. that you, are you were able to make your own product that didn't affect your skin by the sun the way that I you were being affected. Yeah. And now you're able to help other people that have the same issues. Yes. So that yes, is really exciting true. and incredible. And congratulations to just helping so many people. And doing something as natural as you're doing inspires others. Yeah. Um, I want to talk a little bit about your website and, and business building yes. because I know that we are business owners and we're women and it's empowering and we're here right now in the space with, with Ricky's energy everywhere. Yes. Um, so it's, it's really, to me, an exciting thing to see all these women, not just women, but everybody that has businesses come together and share something different and share something new and give each other ideas and, and help each other grow in so many different ways. So um, when did you create your website? Well, Earthy Herbs, I think it's been around this year, maybe last year on December. So it's pretty new. I try to balance it because my main goal right now is to keep my studies. My ongoing studies are five years. So I'm already on my second intermediate half, like second and like two years and a half into it. So I still have a long way to go. So my business, which I try sometimes to put all the energy into it, mm -hmm. mainly my focus is more on my studies because for me it's a very important foundation when you have all the knowledge and not so much to try to do a business out of it. If I can and if I can help people and if I can teach people and they want to learn, I'm all welcome. Everybody can, can, oh can learn and can come. And that's exciting because you, know? you know I want to learn from you. Yes. And you excite me in every aspect as far as creating oils, creating moisturizers, creating you know, organic makeup and just natural products that don't even exist in certain senses. I, I'm really interested in learning more. Yes, about no. For me, it's, it's nice when people ask me, oh, like you and many others, how you learn, how are you you're doing your studies, uh, why are you not doing more of this? And I'm like, no, because for Women me... Women creating workshops as well. Yes, I mean... Where you can teach people. Knowledge is key. Yeah. You can, and I won't say I can be a teacher right now, but you can learn as long as I'm learning in this, at exactly. the same time. And we learn from each other and, and we practice from each other. You We're know, not, as well. yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, my, my goal actually is like to try to teach people how to do this because it's easy. It's not something that's it's hard to do. It's not something that is hard to do. You just need to know, uh, have a basic knowledge of how all of this works and then you can Definitely. put it together. You know, I tell people they can dehydrate anything. I mean, it's so easy to dehydrate. You just buy a dehydrator, you get your fruit, you get your peels, you get your jerky. I mean, whatever it is that you want to dehydrate and literally just plug in a machine and you have yeah. dry fruit. And then with that dry fruit, you can create anything you want. Anything. Create oils, create powders, extracts, um, add to, to wines or to teas or anything you want. It's like it's endless what you can do from there. Yeah. I mean, science right now gives us the opportunity to do so many things so accessible and easy. But for me, I'm very old-fashioned when I do my, my things. So I like I to have to see your ritual. I like to have my long process. You know, that's another thing. What am How does your setup look? Like, I'm just curious. It's a regular kitchen. Okay. Seriously, I will have my just my cabinet full of my specific for all of that but if you enter you will never notice all that all the magic happens there <laughs> have because, no idea. Yeah. yeah but for me when I do products I rather do like um, the old way folk way or fashion way mm -hmm. so sometimes I will get a lot of products let's say this one right here which is an oil the process for this it takes a month and a half okay. but why which because oil is this one yes 
because I like to really have all the healing benefits of each plant, each oil, and infused in harmony and this maceration that it would take sometimes a month, sometimes a month and a half. And when I extract that, the oil that I get is not going to be like mass produced, you know, it's only very for 10 bottles or sometimes seven little bottles of that. And I like to do my products that way. Why? Because you're getting a very fresh product. You're not getting a product that is being made and is sitting there in the counter for months, getting to be sold while it's losing all of their properties, you know? Mm -hmm. So for me, everything that I do is pretty much made to order, or this or the, the, the repairing uh, face bomb. Everything that I would do, I would do just in small batches, mm -hmm. and sometimes just if I don't have it, I just make it right, right there. But another reason why, because I don't use any preservatives at all. In my products are 100% free of preservatives, sulfates, uh, free fragrances. So I want my product to be a good quality product, yes. and besides that, I want it to last. Of so. Course. From the day that you get it, you're getting a product that is No, and that's what people want. Fresh. People want products that are natural and that will last them a long time. Nobody wants a product that's going to last them three weeks. Exactly. And then they have to keep buying more, and then they have to keep buying more. Exactly. People want something that is reliable, that is good quality, that will last them the longest time. That's why I love your products. You don't have to use a whole lot, like a whole dime lot. size or yes, smaller. size or, like a pea size. Yeah, and you can use that around, that moisturizes your entire face. So exactly. You don't need a whole lot. This product literally lasted me over a year yes I was that's I was that's the I was top. Like, I can't believe I still have some left yeah that's <laughs> the top for products like this that they don't have preservatives if you actually take care of your product and storage me I try to have them in the fridge right but since I'm a person that I use my products daily in my daily routine every day I will have them in my bathroom but also no lining cool temperature so it keeps the balance of the of the ingredients, oh God, the right? This is so important. And yes. So you also make your own organic foods? I, yes. I try now, and why? Because since I started doing my studies, it opens my mind so much for so many things that yes. I didn't even know. Even if you practice what you think is the normal, mm -hmm. no, it's so <laughs> much more behind it. Yes. For example, Maybe this has nothing to do with the conversation. It's okay. But it does in some way. Birth control. I was one that I was on birth control for many, many well, years. I'm so happy we're talking about this because I'm against it. Uh, now <laughs> I am. But you didn't in the beginning. In the didn't. beginning, no. Yeah. I took it for over 10 years. But my, my, my diet and my food has been always very fresh. A lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, a lot of grains. Mm -hmm. I try to stay away from fast foods, uh, sodas, and all of that. Yeah. So that, I start seeing the major change in yeah, that. Of course. But it was one time of, um, I think we were in the reproductive uh, female organs, and they were talking about the birth control, and the more I was like going into it, I was like, oh my God, I, I had to stop this. this. Yeah. But what was the good thing? When you stop birth control, what's the fear of people, of women that they stop the birth control? Oh, my, my skin flare up, I gain so much weight, my hair will, yes, you will have a side effect when you stop your birth control. But what do you have to do before you stop your birth control? You have to take at least three months of doing a detoxing of your body and start incorporating all of this raw and fresh fruits and vegetables. Because the birth control takes away from the nutrients from your Yes, body. exactly. So you pretty much, your body is a weak machine that is not supplying that because it has this little tiny pill that is supplying everything. So when you stop it, the resource that you have in your body is absorbed. Yeah. And then in a couple of days, in a couple of weeks, your body is weak and it's not sufficient to start producing everything that you need. So wow. why do you have to do this at least three months? You had to change your diet. You had to start supplementing. So that's one thing that I was against when I started the birth control because I do not like to take pills of any kind. I don't either. No, even vitamins or supplements because I try to get everything from food. What do you recommend for a headache? Because I know that a lot of people 
suffer from migraines. I know I do it at times. But what is a natural um, plant that we could use if we have like a really bad headache? Well, I tell you, I am one that gets migraines. My mom is one that suffers severe migraines. Yeah. But every time I get a very bad headache, I would just do a chamomile. A tea. A tea. A tea of any kind. Everything is in your mind. When I, I have a tea. when I have a cup of tea and I feel the to do, to yes, choosing no. tea and natural herbs and natural yeah. remedies. For me, it's just in my mind. And quietness in another moment. So but like a tea, meditation, with meditation tea, closing your eyes, being in a dark room, you know, no but lights in your eyes. The warmth the of warmth the cup. Of is, Breathing is something, in the yes. Mm -hmm. So for me, I will always do a chamomile tea, or I had this tea that is called Come and Relax, which has valerian root, it has Ooh. hook flowers, it has amazing. passion flowers, it has chamomile, candy. I really hope you have that tea when you vent next Lemon time, because bun. I definitely want to try it. So that is a tea that I will also take because it's a very relaxing, it calms your nerves, it yes. takes the tension away. But it's not going to happen in 10 minutes. Of yeah, now. of course. You have to You have to work your and mind. And yeah. you have to put your body in a position. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do And there's some. different pressure points in our body that if we focus on, then we can get rid of it. A friend of mine, Shem actually, Shem Mahuli. Yeah, who, yeah, um, I know. Shout out to Shem. Yes. He, uh, we've had an interview here, and he's a yoga instructor. Um, he also is a massage therapist. But I was, um, I was with him one time. I had a terrible migraine. And he was telling me to take my um, take my big toe and press it on the ground, like kind of just pushing my toe into the ground, because uh, to not think about the focus of the pressure in the mind. And I kept doing it. I kept doing. It. I swear, before I did that, I was feeling sick. I was feeling nauseous. I kept focusing on the pressure point in the toe, and I felt I didn't really feel the pain of the migraine anymore. So it's really interesting how we. It's can a take trick of the mind when you yeah. take away your the focus, focus and just put it in something else. But for me, it works. But it's something that I already had done a long time ago. I don't keep Advils or Tylenols in my house. And when I get a very bad headache, I just put some nice music, go make a cup of tea, blend it. Zen mode, maybe light some candles. Honey also helps a lot, the sweetness of it, and that will take it away. Yeah. But it's a routine, it's something that you have to eat takes time. It yeah, takes time. Like the chamomile was my number one favorite tea before Lotus came yeah. in. A lot of people say, but chamomile, everybody say chamomile for this. But chamomile is a very powerful it is. plant. It is. You know? it's so a very is linden. Linden is another linden. one. People yes. don't talk about that one that much, but it's very similar to chamomile in many aspects. Yes. It, you don't have it a lot of here, but in Western um, Europe, it's a very abundant. Yeah. It will be like chamomile in that area for them. Linden. That's as popular as yeah, it is. As yeah, popular here you don't as hear too many yeah. people talking about No. That. It's so many herbs that some people awesome. don't even know about. I love mountain herb. Yeah. That's yes. another one. That is actually my main supplier for all of my products oils, bars, butters uh, from mountain, mountain oh, wow. herbs. But because my school so gives us... it's a very us, healing plant. Yes. And because I also want, I, it, this I'm using it for myself. I want to put good quality products on myself because I am one person that before being in all of this, I will also search for the most expensive, the most good quality. Mm -hmm. So I want to have the same. Yeah in the things that I do because I this is everything I use for myself. Definitely. And when did you start vending here at Inhale Miami? My first vending here was uh, January. This year? No. Oh, I was Wait. Say last year. No, this year. Wait, was this year? Yes. Oh my God, we're like both, we are both new together. Yes, we started, we started at the same here, time. yes. Because I was like, you're like, oh, I've been here for a little bit. And I'm like, yes. I didn't realize that. That is yes. so exciting. It's, it's such an honor to be here with Daniela because we've both seen Inhale rise and yes. grow and expand. And, and Ricky's such a great friend of ours. But that is so exciting. So you've been a part of a lot of the vending events that yes. we had this year. Yes. And it's actually something nice, you know, it's like it brings community, it brings diversity, yes. and it welcomes everyone. Yes. 
you know and it's children and families and and your pets and your Everyone's everything you want to get so it's a good place what's our to next be. event coming up here December 14th, we're going to have the... Night market. Yes, it's it's going to be for the holidays, so everybody's going to be in the spirit of the Christmas. Cheers to us, Ben. Yes. And (laughs) And we're going to be here. And to the spirit of the holidays and everybody being here and being a part of this. Yeah, that's true. We are so happy to be here. Oh, man. And so what inspires you the most to just create? What inspires me the most <laughs> to create? What? It like I know be, health has it a lot to do with it. Yes, health is a lot for me because I will, will try to assess myself. Yeah. You know, and finding out what can I do better and better my health. Yes. But I think it's the love of nature. And many herbalists will, will say the same thing, even yes. if something that is so standard and like, oh, it's just a common response. No, but it's true. It's the love of nature. Everything. When you're compassion, compassionate with nature, compassionate with animals, it kind of like opens your heart to, to look at what can go beyond of everything that you see just around And then it brings good you. energy to the karmic circle of life too, I believe. Yes. In so many ways. Well, thank you so much for being here oh, well, and expressing you. everything that you've um, endured and created. I'm really happy to have you here. Yes. Um, let everybody know, like, where can they find you if they are interested in your products, they want to know more about it? Where can they contact you to get these products? Well, I guess my mainly source will be Instagram. Okay. They can is, message you there. Yes. They can message me there. It will be Earthy Herbs earthy.herbs okay earthy.herbs and then also my website will have my contact information and my email for people that wants to request a personalized item you know since everything is made to order it's no how you say it's no a standard recipe Mm -hmm. it's always interchangeable changing it you know when people let's say i have an allergy to this or i want to use this or can you go in the vegan because i will i can also use uh instead of beet wax i can use the candelilla uh, oh, wax wow. which is a vegan so you can custom make i can custom make everything have allergies with certain products. because you're receiving a fresh product right there so everything can be changed Yes. So you're evolving constantly. I love that. You're always yeah. on the go. I try to do. Creating. I try to do. You're always happy. You're always excited. And you always have the best energy. I just <laughs> want to say thank you so much again for being here. Yeah. Being a part of Lotus Horizon. Thank you. No. Thank you we for this opportunity. It's really Cheers. nice. Cheers. And, and until um, next time, if you have anything else to share. Yes, you guys are going to see us soon in the. Um, night market at in hell december 14th from 7 to 9 so come by enjoy celebrate and be part of our community thank you so much yes thank you until next time (laughs) yes